All right, you installed Nextcloud, you invited your guild members, you strategized and came up with the perfect scenario on how to hit the Burning Crusade running, and, uh, well, like me, you probably didn't get that world first you wanted. You probably didn't even come close to getting a, a world first. But, hey, whatever, you know, you, you experimented with Nextcloud and uh, found out it's a pretty useful app. But the one thing that, that we noticed was uh, if you didn't have a browser window open with it open, then you wouldn't get notifications about when uh, people were wanting to talk or, or anything like that. So they actually have, Nextcloud being they, have an app and they have one for the desktop, but they also have one for your cell phone. So if you're away from your computer and still want to be part of the conversation, you can. not So we're going to go ahead and we're going to install both of those next on low res diy all right so let's have a look at the next cloud web page if we go to get next cloud the second option is desktop and mobile app so we'll click on that and it's going to ask us how we what we want to do here and the first option is for the desktop app and we would click on Windows 10 to start the download so let's go ahead and click on that and let it download but if we look next to it download for mobile app it's going to tell you where to go to get it and how to sign on and everything so while that's downloading let's go ahead and jump on my phone here and I'll download the app and we'll install it also Okay, I have an Android device, so the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the Google Play Store, and then we're going to do a search for Nextcloud. And we're going to go ahead and install it. Alright, now that it's done installing, we're going to go ahead and open it, and it's going to ask you to log in. So you're going to log in, and then you're going to need to tell it um, the website, the, the uh, domain name which is going to be HTTPS. This is just for mine, you know, to put yours in. Uh, colon hack hack low res test dot duck DNS dot org. And click next. It's going to ask you to log in. Let's go ahead and log in as low res. with my password and log in grant permission all right it's going to allow uh, ask you to allow next Cl cloud to access your folds and files sure and it's going to set everything up for you and the first thing you're going to notice is that it has all the files that are on your server are now accessible to you on your your android device so if I go into photos, bam, there's all the photos that are on the server. But what if I want to go ahead and add some photos to this guy? Where'd my plus go? I just go click on the plus. I want to upload a photo. And let's see. Where'd my pictures go? All right, let's go to pictures. And let's just choose these guys here. Looks like there are a couple pictures of the garden. And let's upload them so it's going to go through the process of uploading them uploading them excuse me and you can see they're starting to populate right now but if we go let's go to desktop and if we go to our photos and then we click in photos all the photos from our phone are now added to the uh server so we can open these guys up on our desktop now and edit them however we want it's a pretty nice nice little feature so let's go ahead and go back to the phone oops a little too far and if you click on the upper left here the three lines it's got all the same options as you have on your desktop so it, all your files your activities favorites media shares you can share files with everyone if you want um uh, notifications everything is there it's just like the desktop basically so it's kind of nice to have this app on your phone if you're 
uh, involved in a project and you're away from your desktop and somebody has a question or whatever they can shoot you a question and you can you can answer it over your phone so it's a quick easy nice little uh, application uh, to have if you're interested in so now let's go ahead and I'm sure it's finished downloading the uh, uh, desktop installation so let's go ahead and check that out next all right I almost forgot uh, to add one of the well, I think one of the most important apps for Nextcloud, which is Nextcloud Talk, which is the kind of the whole reason I uh, put the apps on here, really. So we're going to do a search for Nextcloud Talk, and then we're just going to click the install button, give it a few minutes to install. All right, once it's done installing, we'll go ahead and click on the open button, and we'll have to tell it the website again of our server which is the https colon hack hack lower as test dot duck dns is that right yep let's click done it's going to ask you to log in so you're going to have to log in again so let's go with uh low res and our password click login we're going to grant permission. Then it's going to open the app for us. And this is all it is. It's a pretty simple app. Uh, you can start a conversation by clicking the plus button. It's already going to have the uh, groups and people that you, uh, users that you have on your next cloud server in here. Let's say, let's start one with Krog and click done. And let's just say, uh, hey, what's up? And we'll send it. Now, I don't know if he's online or not. I don't know uh, if he's got the app open or not. But let's see if he gets back with us. Pretty simple to use. And that's basically all there is to uh, the app. But it keeps you connected when you're away from your desktop and you're, you're uh, not able to have Nextcloud logged on or have it in a window 24-7. So, all right, that's all for the app. Let's go ahead and just jump back to the... Uh, desktop and install the desktop app all right so that the app should be done downloading by now so let's go ahead and click on file explorer and go to our downloads directory and there it is next cloud 3.2.2 double click on it and I'm gonna close file explorer down and we're gonna click next to start the setup wizard now you can go ahead and browse and change the directory or drive that you want to put the app on but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it go uh, in the default on the C drive. So let's click next and then click install. Yes, we do. It's a pretty quick app to install. It shouldn't take long. All right, click the finish button. So we'll click it. And right here, you're going to need to restart the computer for the app to take effect. You could also probably go ahead and log into Nextcloud now, but I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer first and then finish the setup. So be back in a second. All right, we're back up and running now. And let's go ahead and finish up the uh, installation. You can either A, go down to your start menu and next cloud will be right here. You can click on that or you can go down to your system tray and this is your little next cloud symbol. You can click on that and it's going to want you to log into your next cloud server. So again, it's the same thing. We're going to give it the domain name of uh, HTTPS colon hack hack low res test.duckdns.org and it's going to ask, ask you to log in as one of the or log in you're going to grant it access and let's go ahead and click on it and now it's going to ask you to sync your files or if you want to sync your files and I am going to go ahead and synchronize everything from the server. So what that means is, sounds like the wash is done. That means is just like with the app on the phone, when I copied a photo from the phone to the server, once I synchronize everything, it will also copy all of that to the desktop, including the pictures that we synchronized from our phone. And it'll work vice versa. I can copy a file from the desktop to the server, and it'll sync up with the phone or a laptop or whatever you might have the app on. So let's go ahead and connect it.
and you can see right here it's going through and it's syncing everything for us right now so let's give it a couple minutes to to sync and there's Krog getting back with us uh right now uh, obviously you can see he's a uh a, a journalist uh for sure he, he he has some wow colorful comments there so uh let's just uh, go ahead and head on so now we're logged in as low res you can either log in uh well let's log in i would have thought it was logged in but it's hmm. i guess that meant to say log in and it was actually log out so let's start it back up again and grant access and there we go you can add an account uh, to this if you want let's say it's a, a laptop in your your kitchen that pretty much everybody uses they can add their account to this and, and swap over to that account if need be you can pause the sync for all but we're going to let that go you can click on your settings uh, yeah i know he did i hope he doesn't send any more uh, and these are the directories that the uh, app is syncing from the server to the desktop I don't see a need to have talk in there, so I always unclick it, and I'll hit apply, and it's just going to sync these two photos. You can click on general, and this is your general setup, so you can just go through that at your leisure and see if there's anything you want to change, and of course, your, your network settings for, for connecting to the server. So now that it's set up, it's running, like right there, it'll tell you that someone sent you a message. You deleted the sync talk and things like that. If you want to go to the directories, you can click on that. And what it does is it'll open a file explorer for you. And you'll notice it created a directory uh, over here on the left. You click, click it open and that's the two directories that we have synced. So let's go into our photos directory and look at that. There are the garden photos that I synced from my phone to the server now to the desktop. So it's pretty nice because my wife will take pictures with her cell phone. She'll sync it to Nextcloud and then it'll sync to her laptop and she can edit the photos in any way that she wants to edit them. So it's a, it's a pretty beneficial, beneficial feature to it. If you go back into the app, you can see right here, the, this is everything that is basically on your dashboard or your toolbar up here in the uh, the web app or the, the web access. You can click on talk and it'll take you right over there and you can see that that jerk commented back to me. Uh, let's get that off the screen. And you can see right here, any activity that's been done on the server so far. You can see I put a nice little picture of myself up there because, you know, why not? And that's basically the quick and dirty of the desktop and phone app. They're pretty simple. They're really easy to, to use. And the, the syncing and the talking are the like right now, those are the two big things that, that I use. And uh, it's a pretty nice app. All right, there you go. That's the uh, Nextcloud apps uh, for your phone and for your desktop or laptop or whatever you want to put it on. Uh, next up, I'm going to do a video on how to uh, get your uh, Outlook and Google or Gmail connected with your, your Nextcloud account. I know I'm wanting to get completely away from them, but I haven't set up a mail server yet. And as soon as I figure out how to do that, you'll be darn sure to see a video on it and how to get it synced up with uh, or hooked up with Nextcloud. So until then, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching.